<laughs> what is this thing, man? It's a 660 Raptor with a Gixxer 600 motor. <laughs> See you come through the wood line over there about straight up, straight up and down. Yeah, it's, it's pretty hairy. It's pretty it's gnarly. Really I mean, it's, it's a nice, I mean, it's a nice little toy. Heck yeah, very <laughs> cool. I love the rat pipes, duels on both sides. Oh, that's pretty yeah. sweet. It's actually smaller than the 660 Raptor motor, but people won't, you know. Right. Can't really, you know, yeah. can't really wrap nobody's head around that early. A little different power band. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's got low end and stuff. I mean, it's got torque and stuff, too. It's, I mean, it surprised you. But, I mean. Very cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> does it ever hook up? Yeah, it does. Okay. I mean, has it been extended or anything? The swing? Yeah, it's, it's been lengthened. It's been lengthened here. You can see they cut, they cut here and they cut here. Oh that, yeah. To fit the motor, because the motor's taller. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's a pretty hairy ride. She's a little bit of a Frankenstein, but yeah, <laughs> that sounds awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right, boys. Sometimes getting these set up shots a little bit like hurting cats, but I wanted you to hear the Raptor 700, which is running now, versus that the Raptor 660 with the Jixer 600 motor in it. Um, we got to ride around with Jeremy for just a few minutes before uh, I think he either bent the sprocket or had too big of a chain on that. So we didn't get to ride around with him all day, but we had a blast while we were riding around with him. And um, we tried to get a couple of clips when we were riding we were riding out to get another camera. He took a jump and got up to about shoulder height on me. And when he come down, the chain popped off the sprocket. And that was it for him for the day. But we are going to get back out with Jeremy on that uh, Jixer 600 equipped Raptor 660 and get some really good ride footage for you guys. So um, we're looking forward to that for sure. So in this clip, you can see uh, me and Brian rip by. We're still getting used to the Raptor. Um, we absolutely love adding a support quad to the fleet. We'll get to that later. But uh, here comes Jeremy. He had some sprocket issues. He was realizing it right there. So um, couldn't rip that turn as hard as he wanted to. But uh, me and Brian were having a blast regardless. The whole Dirt Obsession Sport Quad push was born out of a conversation that uh, me, Flying Brian, and the Viking had while we were out on a long ride. We were talking about how if we were going to get Sport Quads again, what we would get, and the fact that we, if we were going to get them, we had to get them soon because we're starting to get a little up there in years, and if you really want to push a Sport Quad, you got to be in the right physical shape to go ahead and push it. All of us came up on Sport Quads from warrior 350s to banshees to lpr's um, we've collectively we've owned the gamut and we were kind of talking about how we missed those days of banging gears and ripping hills and just generally having a good time on our sport quads so that was kind of what pushed the uh the purchase of the raptor and to be perfectly honest the first day that uh, flying brian and i had the raptor out we felt like we were in our over our heads. Um, it takes you to get used to to uh, reacclimate yourself to a sport machine. Um, we both kind of looked at each other like, "Oh no, what did we do? We were used to the uh, independent rolled suspension, the four wheel drive, just the overall power and ability of the modern day four by four machine." But now that we're getting used to the Raptor 700, the nostalgia is coming back the realization that you can do almost anything on a sport machine um, kind of hit us like a ton of bricks and the fact that they cost generally about half as much was sort of a realization that you don't have to spend upwards of, of twelve to fifteen thousand dollars on the big four uh, utility machines to be able to have a good time 
a $7,500 Raptor 700 is going to get you pretty much anywhere you want to go and you're going to have an absolute blast. Short of things like deep snow and mud, you can pretty much do anything you want to do on a Raptor and truth be told, you can probably do those things at a much faster pace. It's just a machine that's lighter, more nimble, you can push it harder, you can go faster. Um, you can do things that you really can't do on the big 4x4 utility. That's not to say that there aren't usefulness to the big 4x4 utility. There's not increased capability. All we're saying is don't check out on the sport quads because you can absolutely rip them to death and have a killer time all day long for a fraction of the price.